Hello and welcome to Daily Dose Radio, a five-minute a day podcast studying the Psalms verse by verse, recorded here in the dining room of the Bible Bistro, located in Sharonville, Ohio. Hey there, friend. Welcome back to Daily Dose Radio here in the Bible Bistro. I'm so glad you've joined me today. Come on in here with me and open your Bible up, and we're going to study today in Psalm 105. We're in the section of Psalm 105 where he's remembering the signs in Egypt. We began that, well, actually, we we began that at the end of the day on Monday because in verse 28, he talks about the darkness and how thick it was and so forth. Uh, and that we find in Exodus chapter 10, one of the signs. And then in 29, we began with the uh, sign of the blood in the water, the water turned to blood, rather. And then we've continued on through. So today, we're going to pick up here in 33, and let me read for us 33 through 36. He smote their vines also and their fig trees, and brake the trees of their coasts. He spake, and the locusts came, and caterpillars, and that without number, and did eat up all the herbs in their land, and devoured the fruit of their ground. He smote also the firstborn in their land, the chief of all their strength. So that's 33 through 36. And you'll notice uh, we continue with the signs, and we we lead up to verse 36, which is the chief of all the signs, the death of the firstborn. So the locusts came, the caterpillars without number, that's Exodus chapter 10, verses 14 and 15. Also, we find that in Psalm 78, verse 46. So we have the frogs, the flies, the lice, the hail, the fire, of course, the hail destroying the trees, the vines, and so forth, the locust, the caterpillar, without number, and they ate all the herbs in the land and devoured the fruit of the ground. You remember that that Egypt was completely destroyed by all of this. I mean, the cattle, the the grain, all the livestock, everything was completely destroyed in these signs. And so by the time the people leave, the Egyptians really have nothing. They have nothing left. And they gave them all of their jewelry as they went out because they were glad they were leaving and they they gifted them all that jewelry. So really the Egyptians were plundered in a sense by all of this because of Pharaoh's hard-heartedness, which again reminds us that the hard-heartedness of man the Lord will break will break the hard heart, and that without remedy, unless we turn to the Lord. And so what we see here is just a reminder that God is doing a work. He's doing a work in Pharaoh's heart because Pharaoh had the key. He had the yes and the no. And all he had to say was go. And they would have left, and God would not have continued the signs and the plagues. But he does, and we come to verse 36 he smote all the firstborn in their land, the chief of all their strength. That's Exodus chapter 12, verse 29, when the destroying angel came and killed all the firstborn. Also, I want you to make sure you, you mark Psalm 78, verse 51, because Psalm 78, 51 is just about the same as Psalm, thir- uh, Psalm 105, 36. They're very much alike, except that in Psalm 78, that verse ends with, in the tabernacles of Ham. So it reads something like, He smote all the firstborn in their land, the chief of their strength, in the tabernacles of Ham. So again, Ham is mentioned there in Psalm 78, which we've had it mentioned here as well. So we have all these plagues leading up to the the worst of all, and that was the death of all the firstborn. Now, tomorrow we're going to pick up in verse 37, and we'll read down through verse 40. So I hope that you'll join me then here on Daily Dose Radio. Thanks for listening to Daily Dose Radio. For more fresh and delicious Bible studies, podcasts, books, and more, check out the Bible Bistro online and on YouTube. Join me again next time for Daily Dose Radio.